Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to create some really cool squeeze pages. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over from scratch. Okay, and I have a text pad, a little cheat sheet here. And what I'll do is I'm going to add this as the warning text that will appear at the top of the page. So if we scroll down here, I have this warning text. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And then this is my head, uh, my headline. I'll just copy and paste that. And of course, you can just type this right into the editor. And then I have a call to action here. Okay. And I'm going to center this. Okay. And then I'm going to make the whole thing a Tahoma font. Right, and then I'll change the font size to like 36. Or about 24 for now. And then I'll make it all bold. Okay, and then I'm going to make this red or a shade of red. Okay, so you can add a hex code down here. And I just happen to know the hex code that I want. That's a typical darker red, but you can just pick one off of here if you want. And edit that. Okay, and now I'm going to underline this. All right, and you'll notice that when you make changes, uh, the editor can't uh, display it correctly, but it, it just reverts to the the uh, default, which is Times Roman, um, that will not affect the actual page, okay? Uh, it'll just show it here. So if you click on this, it still says Tahoma, so don't worry about that. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's make this italic. And then we'll highlight this in yellow. Okay, so you can do anything with this. That's why this editor is so cool. Or this this plugin is very flexible. You can do a lot more with it than a lot of editors or uh, plugins that do it all for you. So you just enter it into uh, like a text box down here. You'd enter like your title or something like that, and then they'd format it for you and color it. This gives you a lot more flexibility. You can use any different font you want, different colors. And different sizes to make it fit your page. Okay, so now um, let's take this and we'll center it and let's make this Tahoma and bold it. All right, so this is everything that's going to appear above the uh, opt in form. And now we go down to the options. Okay, so this is where you add your autoresponder form. So let's take a look at forms in Aweber. All right, so I have a bunch of different forms here that I've created. And this is the basic form. Okay, and then when you go to publish, you just install your form and you take this JavaScript snippet. All right, copy and paste that here. And that is your form. Okay, now this is the warning text that uh, will appear above this headline in a, a graphic, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then uh, the YouTube video and the image URL, those are for the two column squeeze pages. Now the other options here are um, your background color, the width of the page, and then a border would be like a solid border around the page, or you can round it and add a shadow. I'm also going to add a big arrow. All right, so let's go ahead and publish that. Go to update it. Click view page. And there it is. 